Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel We Fade to Grey and I'm just sat in the garden today because even though it's uh, nearly autumn and uh, I'm sat here in Manchester the sun does insist on shining so uh, what can you do? So just a quick update on uh, day three of being out of work or uh, work free however you want to put it. Um, just checked the civil service jobs website this morning to see if either of my applications have progressed and it just still says application received so I'm assuming somebody somewhere is looking at these and uh, are going to get back to me sooner rather than later so uh, I'll give you an update as soon as I get one and uh, this one popped into my inbox this morning as well an IR35 specialist now I don't know whether I am an IR35 specialist but uh, I'm kind of one by default because uh, it's IR35 has ruined my career so uh, it might be sweet justice if I do get that job so I'm thinking about applying for it um, why not nothing to lose so just some exciting news on my channel um, on the back of my um, interview with uh, Dr Abdul Farouk and my invitation to uh, interview anybody else who's got uh, an interesting life story I've had uh, a few a few emails come through and uh, I've actually set up three interviews over the, the coming days which I'm hoping to release um, over the course of the next couple of weeks. The first one's with um, a guy called Paul Rose who has his own YouTube channel Digitizer. Now Paul works, uh, I think Paul's a creative writer, he works with the BBC and various other production companies and I think he's really struggled to find work and we're just going to explore whether that's his age or his demographic or just the state of the uh, the creative writing industry at the moment so that's what i'm looking forward to another one uh, is with um simon burgess now simon runs a podcast called life's second act where he interviews people in middle age and how they're trying to find repurpose and uh coping with the challenges of, of um, being later in life whether it's career family or just looking for purpose later in life. So I actually did an interview myself with Simon for his podcast uh, a couple of weeks ago, and I think that it's going to be released next Friday, the 27th of September. So I thought it might be a nice idea if I interviewed him and uh, we could release our content together. He's got a YouTube channel, uh, but I think his main platform is Spotify, so you can check him out either on YouTube or on Spotify. I'll leave the links in the description. And tomorrow, uh, I'm excited to tell you that I'm going over to, uh, to York to meet uh, Nick Mayer, who also has uh, a channel on YouTube. Uh, me and Nick had a, a great conversation yesterday. We've got a lot in common. Um, Nick's channel focuses mainly on retirement, um, when to retire, if to retire, and, and if you do retire, what to do with your retirement. So. We're looking forward to, to meeting Nick and getting the, uh, the train over there tomorrow morning. Uh, hopefully we should get to York lunchtime and uh, hopefully we can record some content and have a few beers. So we're looking forward to it. Um, so that, that's, that's, three, that's three interviews lined up for the next um, few weeks. We're looking forward to doing it. Like I say, I really enjoyed interviewing uh, Abdul um, about his his uh, experience of being a newly qualified doctor and his difficulty in finding a, a permanent job. So um, I enjoyed doing that, I think he did, and, uh, and then the interview was really well received on my channel as well. So uh, it's something that I, I would like to develop. And also, you know, like I said in my last video, if, uh, if you've got a story to tell or an experience you'd like to share, then, uh, then please, please get in touch. I, uh, I'd be really interested to hear from you and I, I will reply to your email, irrespective of whether, um, you know, I think it's a good idea to go ahead. I always, uh, I always do reply to the email. So. Uh, so yeah, that's just a quick update. Um, yeah, no, no news on the job front uh, and uh, lots happening on my channel. So uh, maybe that's a sign of the future, I don't know. But uh, anyway, check back uh, soon for, for more content and thanks for watching. Cheers.